Hey everyone, hope everyone had a great weekend. Thanks for joining me on February 6th. And as always, we are not financial advisors and everything you see on here is for educational purposes only. All right, let's get started with the dollar. And as we've talked about for a few days now, we had to come back up to uh, 103.18, I think it was. And we actually pulled a little higher above. So we nailed that. Um, and we knew when we came back up, Bitcoin would drop back down, which actually has. So a few days ago, I was telling everybody, like, look, this is our top. You know, I had two fib lines that hit it. We had this uh, trend line. And um, we have this target that we need to drop back down to. So I mentioned, hey, look, this is our top. Bitcoin should drop back down. And it's actually dropped back down very slowly. But nonetheless, it has dropped back down. I don't think it's at the bottom just yet. It's not on any fib lines as of now. Um, and we still have this target of 22. So even if we push up, we might push back down as much. Uh, back down just to knock this target out or we can continue dropping and just knock it out um, so that's actually playing nicely one thing I'm noticing is like I do kind of see this which I've mentioned like I, I wanted to see that in a sense remember they don't play out perfectly sometimes they have these little wicks that could interfere but that's still there for me so that's a good sign um, at this point we're just waiting to see how far we go down uh, we're not in any reversal fib yet so we could drop far down a little bit more now, if we only come down to this, then that would play out what I'm saying was going to happen, right? We're just going to go sideways, a little drop like that, go like this. We'll do that in a sense. So, like, we'll drop a little more or just kind of go sideways for another week or so until February, until Valentine's Day, and then start to push back up. That's kind of what I see the general thing happening. What we wanted to do is to come down, go up, and then continue to fall back down and retest, uh, you know, this support area. Which is around like you know nine thousand uh, three hundred or nineteen sorry nineteen thousand three hundred. Um, one thing I, I want to touch up on too is um, most of the alt are just kind of going sideways at this point. They've had some nice pumps, but not too much. Um, with Doge, it went back up to the same breakout area and came back down. So I now it's just doing this. Now it's kind of like a rising wedge, and this is usually a red flag because these usually do this. They usually go up like that and then dump. In some rare occasions, they do pump, but they usually dump more. So make sure if you got in to have a, um, you know, a stop loss somewhere. If anything, this can actually raise up higher. So it's actually now at 0 0.08798 if you're trying to find like the Doge thing. And this is one of the few like trades like I do, rec like not recommend, but like I do. I'm okay given the, the green flag because this has a target and a stop loss. So you have a plan with it, right? And one of the problems I see right now is I'm getting a lot of people FOMOing lately. <laughs> and guys, we've been doing a great job now FOMOing. Now there's a little bit of action. You know, I get it. There's a lot of excitement. But a lot of people are DMing me saying, hey, is it too late to get into this? Is it too late to get into that? One of the popular ones is Vera. Um... And the thing with that is, I know Vera in the past has made people a bunch of money, but we're not in the same bull market anymore. And we have to be very careful, guys, because whether if it's Vera, because it's a few people, not just one. I don't want someone to think I'm signaling them out. Uh, it's a few people. That and Shiba, right? I gave um, a breakout price for Shiba down here where it's like, hey, look, Shiba has to, I'm going to delete it. This is where like people are taking profits. And it has a nice little pump still, too. Um, I did this with Chiba. There was a, a breakout price here, and then like if we failed the to break above the trend line, you know it would dump back down to here. So it broke the fib line and took off. Once it's taking off, you want to be careful, like you know, still trying to chase this, because keep in mind, you need to understand. On Thursday, I was telling people, look, this is a top for Bitcoin. Bitcoin needs to dump back down. So if we know Bitcoin needs to dump back down, that can hold the market down or dump the market along with it. So you don't want to be chasing. Um, even with like the Doge, the only difference between Doge and the other coins are we know it has a second arrow target. So we know it has to come back down. So if they were to fail and drop on you, we know it has to come back up. Just exactly the same way as the dollar, right? Remember, the dollar was going sideways, and I kept telling people, look, it has to come back up to that. Even if it go, even if it dumps more, 
it's just gonna come right back up so if you bought here and you want to do a long on dollar and it kept dropping this is why I've said before you want to add if you're in and you don't get out and it drops on you you want to add more because when it comes back up you will make more money because now you made what you, when you got in but you're not gonna make just a little bit you'll make a lot more because you got in lower so this would be the same thing with doge it's because we know it has a second arrow target and that means it has to come back up even dollar has has to come back up because of that second arrow target but can we go back to doge there you go so even though doge dumps and you're in you might want to add more because it'll come back up now you don't want to trade a coin that doesn't have any like targets any guarantees that it's going to come back up you know um Luna is probably my only exception from that because of the pattern that it's had and it's been following patterns uh, nicely. Again, but again, we also have a plan with it, right? Like we know where it could fail. You know, it can do this, go sideways, and then it could dump back down. So the only times I said we, I would add would be like if we have a nice random breakout and it goes sideways for a while. So we had the breakout. Now we want it to go sideways for a while. Then I'll add. Or, and if you don't want to add right away, you can wait for it to do another little triangle, like little flag, right? You'd add a little flag, and then you buy the breakout. So we want to have a plan. We don't want to just, because we also know where it's going, right? We don't want to just jump into random coins because other rooms are talking about it, right? Other rooms are hyping about it and stuff like that. People are excited because, you know, Vera's up. But keep in mind, they might have already been in Vera this whole time, and they've been down like 90%, 95%. So... Now that Vera went up again, they're probably down now like 80%, right? And that's the way we have to look at it is, you wanna get in when I see the market going sideways or upward, but if I'm telling you, hey, this looks like a top for me, you might wanna stay away from trying to get into any coin. It doesn't matter which coin it is, whether it's Shiba or Vera or anything else. Data's not a bad one. It's not that much of a gain anymore, so you have to be very careful. You won't gain much. But remember, Rose has that, uh, not Rose, but Doge has that second arrow target. So does, it was Data and who else? Oh yeah, and Algo, right? Algo has a, a white fifth target. So Algo has to drop back down to 20 cents. So if it starts dropping down, you wanna buy Algo for when it goes back up. And this one has one of the mo the biggest gains out of all of them, all right? So the way you have to look at things is like, okay, if this coin, all these coins are pumping, well, which ones are not have not pumped in and have a target? Because now you have a plan and, and and you know where it's gonna go to instead of just hopping into a coin and wishing, you know, wish, wishing like, oh, I hope I can get like five six percent and then jump out. You know, it's kind of trading risky, and I don't want people to do that because I don't want people to risk their money. Right? You're gonna jump in and and then it's gonna get dumped. You're gonna get dumped on because you know Alonso has been saying, hey, Bitcoin's gonna dump back down, and the whole market you know drops on you. Right? Like we have to be very careful when something pumps. Another thing to note is you don't want to get stuck. And this is something I, I, I teach in my trading courses. Like you don't want to get stuck in that loop where I've been saying it back here and especially here. I've been saying to buy your coins, dollar cost average into your coin, dollar cost, buy these coins. And if you didn't buy here, but you want to buy here, now you want to buy them. Well, you're on track to get into that emotional loop where you're going to not buy here, you're going to buy up here, you're going to sell down here, and then you're going to buy back up here. Like, you don't want to get into the start of that emotional loop. And that happens so easily and people don't realize they're in it. And this is something we want to stay away when it comes to trading. You want to stay away from that. You got to catch this early. And right now we would be catching it early. So... If you have the urge to buy all your coins now, after I've been saying for weeks now to buy your coins, don't buy your coins, right? Even if it pumps a little bit more, even if this thing somehow just breaks through and pumps, you don't wanna buy your coins because then if you start buying your coins here, you'll write it all the way back down. Remember, for weeks now, I've also been saying, hey, we're in a sideways market. We're going to have ups and downs now, right? Since December 26, it was right here. Since this area here, I've been telling people, look, we're in a sideways market. Well, sorry. 
all this time I've been telling people we're in a down market. On December 26th, we switched to an up and down market, a sideways market. And what's happening right now? We're doing the sideways, right? We're pushing back up. And it's funny because I'm seeing a lot of people, uh, you know, thinking it's like, oh, you know what? Like, it's a bullish market. It's a bullish market again. In the long term, it technically is, right? Like, this is... This could have been like the bottom. We'll still come back down and retest it. And then it'll go like that, right? Like if we follow this pattern, yeah, this is the bottom. We'll come back down again and we'll come back down again. But this is technically the start of a bull market. But when I say this is the start of a bull market and how they're saying is, they mean because like you're buying at the bottom, right? It's like if you're buying here, there's still a lot of ups and downs. But it's not going to be like this year, right? It's not going to just be like, oh, from here it only went up. You know what I mean? There's years where oh, I got to go to BLX. There's years where like it went up, come back down, up, come back down, up, come back down, up. Right? This is this is what I see for this year. And oh look, we went up, right? Look, we went up, and we went up pretty fast. Well, look what happens next. Dumps all the way down. And this is what I mean. You don't want to be buying coins right now long term. If you're trying to do a trade, okay, fine, that's on you. But don't do a trade if I tell you, hey, the market's going to dump unless you're going to try to short it, right? You have to use that before you make another trade because I know based on what everybody is sending me, all the messages, you know, like you can tell FOMO's kicking in a little bit because I've had people ask me like, hey, what are the odds of like, it, we just turned into a bull market. You know, that's just wishful thinking, right? Like, it's not going to, I guarantee you, it's not going to turn into that. Um, let me delete these. I don't want to make too much noise. I'll delete that. Just take it out the way. Um, just, I want you guys to be cautious. And you know what? I, I, I've been trying to not make these videos very long. So I'll, I'll cut it with this. I won't go into the alt because nothing happens. But the reason I go over this big is because it's always. Oh, I'm trying to watch out for everybody. I don't want you guys foaming into it in coins. And even if we have breakouts, like we have breakouts, but Bitcoin's still saying we're going to dump back down. Like you need to understand, like that's two things that are contradicting themselves, right? If I was telling you, look, we already dropped. We hit our, our second arrow target. Bitcoin should go back up. Now you want to look out for breakout points because if they do touch those breakouts and Bitcoin's pushing up, it's going to give it that boost and pump we always like. But if it's going to go down and there's a breakout price, it most likely, because the breakout prices do fail too. They're not just like 100% guaranteed they're going to pump. They always come with risk. So if there's a breakout price and the market is dumping, I'm telling you that the market's going to dump, you might want to stay away from those, right? And I bring this up just to watch over you guys. Again, a few people messed out to, uh, messaged me and don't think I'm singling you out. But I do want to bring this up to the room because, again, we all learn with all of our experiences. And these are things I've done in the past. And this is why I'm like, you know what, let's let's stop it here. Because, again, this is the beginning of the loop. You didn't want to buy at the bottom. People want to buy at the top now. You don't want to do that because it's going to dump back down. Then you're going to sell and then it's going to pump back up and then you're going to buy again. You do not want to get stuck in those loops. Those are really bad loops. So I know things are pumping, but it's OK. You need to understand. It's like the end of it, right? It's like we just had this nice rally and right now like you know out of all the alts already pumped in the bull market now we're having our little you know last minute coins pumping in a sense before it dumps back down and then we have our second wave because like like i said when i showed you um over here everybody's assuming we're going to do something like this where we crashed and then just continue to go up continue to go up continue to go up but in reality i see something more like where are we at? Where is that? Um, like here where it's like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Oh, this one right here. Where it's just like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And obviously they're never going to continue to be like, this one was pretty nice. Well, this one went up first and then completely dumped down. Because remember how they did the, that like um, double bottom? They always come like, they always like kind of retest. Not retest, but like kind of push back down to retest it right here this look it dropped back down a good decent amount almost same thing here like it dropped it kind of did it twice it actually did it a third time so with here we technically did it once 
twice. I'm thinking maybe like a third time somewhere down here. And this is why I keep saying like it's gonna come back down to retest that trend line. You know, don't be scared. It's not gonna do this. Right, it's not, it's not gonna do that. There's, we got, we got plenty of months to go. Plenty of months. Um, if anything, on the weekly, I'm gonna do this one for the tomorrow's update, but the weekly is actually lining up pretty well with our pattern. So this is how I know like this week, we're gonna end in red on the weekly. But all right, I will see everybody on the Discord. Anything interesting happens, I'll definitely make a post about it. All right, I'll see you guys there. All right, so if you're looking for a new crypto home, I do offer a premium Discord. Uh, link will be in the description. It's tindicator.com. If we come down here, uh, we'll select Ko-Fi. Ko-Fi or Kofi? I think it's Kofi, actually. I have people calling different things. But anyways, um, here are the memberships that I offer. So $10 a month gets you the market update video. So I post an update Monday through Friday. Um, sometimes Saturday and Sundays, if there's, you know, something interesting going on in the market. Um, I do have my, I have two rooms at $30. One of them is $29.99 and the other one is $30 exactly. If you're wondering why, it's because Kofi doesn't let me do two $30 ones. So I have to have one a penny left. So peace of mind is uh, full access to the Discord community. So that would be this all here. So you get the market updates, crypto chat, daily plays. Um, this is where I post all of my stuff, give you updates. I get the end of the day summary. So people already know what's going on for this morning. You know, you get the passive uh, income, you got the hidden gems, um, group zoom, newsworthy, um, daily plays. You know, you can see charts that people request so I can give updates on different coins. We got the spiritual movable side of things. So a lot to offer here. Uh, now I have a $30 premium trade room. And what this gives you is we currently do have a free trade room, uh, but there's also a premium version of it. And that's this here. So the f the free one, the public one, gives you seven different coins that it trades. The premium would add 20 more. So as in yesterday, it had one trade for link. And on the premium side, we had what one, two, three, four, five other coins. So you get a bunch more calls uh, in the premium side. Now I do have the edge, which gives you both. So for 60 bucks a month, you get the full, you know, you get the market update, you get the full Discord community, uh, you get the signal alerts, you get the premium trade room, but you can also request charts and then do two Zoom sessions a month. So like I mentioned earlier, everybody can see these charts here that people request, but you have to be on the edge tier to actually be able to request them. So if there's a coin that no one's talking about and you want to see where it's at, because there's been a lot of times where I've given people, hey, you know what? It's good. There's a good entry. You can get in now because they want to buy a specific coin. And there's times where it's like, you know what? It's already pumped. It's already hit a reversal fib. Wait for it to come back down. So now they get in at an even better price. So that's why I call it the edge because you get an edge on the market on these coins because you don't want to get into a coin and it dumps back down even more. You know, they have these little bullish uh, bearish targets. Or you were thinking about getting it and waiting for it to get lower, but it has a lot of bullish targets, so you don't want to get left behind. Um, I do have an Edge Plus, which pretty much gives us more zooms, but I have that one full. Uh, but we do, for the Edge, you do get two zoom sessions with me, so we can go over your portfolio, any issues you might have with some of your wallets, or you want to learn how these wallets work, these hardware uh, wallets. Um, I have even have some people who like to just come on and chat and sometimes vent. You know, sometimes we need that especially for the big, you know, bear market we just had. But the cool thing now, it's we're going into a sideways market, so that's gonna be awesome. On top of that, I do have a little shop here where I do offer, so this price is not set or guaranteed yet, so don't buy it for now. Um, it actually could go up or might go lower. I haven't decided on if I'm gonna release my uh, scalping indicator. Um, I'm so booked right now and full of like people I gotta help, so I, turned off the personal one-on-one -on -one scalping trading for beginners. I do have the video out though. Um, if this is for the people who want to learn how to do scout trading, um, you know, it goes over a lot of the essentials that a lot of people who do these kind of videos don't go over. They just pretty much show you how this indicator works and then that's it. You're on your own. Uh, with me, it's, I uh, we keep chatting even after you watch the video, you send me, uh, you know, a bunch of updates, a bunch of charts you're doing to make sure you're doing it correct before I even have you trade for real. So a lot to offer there. 
But other than that, thank you for watching my video today. Have a great one.